From a station working for you, this is a WRTV update. I'm Amanda Starantino bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. Police say one of the city's latest shooting victims is a child. She was rushed to Riley in critical condition after getting shot at around 945 last night on Oakwood Trail near 71st and Georgetown Road on the northwest side. Police do not think the girl was the intended target. IMPD has released surveillance and body camera video of a police shooting. This happened in September on the east side. Police say two people shot at each other as officers walked up to respond to a report of a disturbance. Investigators say the officers thought the shooting was aimed at them, so they returned shots hitting a man in the arm. Chief Randall Taylor says releasing this evidence is part of an effort to be more transparent. The Washington Township Adult Education Program is offering free job skills training to any Marion County resident right now impacted by the pandemic. The program is looking for people who are unemployed or underemployed to enroll for the session by November 15th. Kevin. Temperatures not just for, for your Friday, but through the weekend and into Monday will be in the 70s. May see a record both Sunday and Monday. The record high is 76. The predicted high, as you can see, 75 degrees. Want to show you the seven day forecast because it doesn't stay in the 70s for the next seven days. We'll see the change starting Tuesday. Showers, some thunderstorms, a few may be strong to severe as we transition ahead of a cold front to much cooler conditions Wednesday and Thursday with highs in the 50s. Indications are that that cold snap, if you want to call it that, will be short-lived and will warm back up after that. Amanda? Enjoy it this weekend. For more news and weather anytime, download the WRTV mobile app.